Hello my friends, family, and colleagues. I'm trying out my new look. In LA County, um, they've now, actually LA City, but everybody's complying. Um, I have to wear this everywhere I go. I know, not necessarily indoors, but I want to try out the look. See, you know, what you guys are thinking. If I need something a little bit more uh, fancy or, you know, maybe this is good enough. So, we're going to get started today, and uh, today is my Florida mug. Um, I can't take a sip because of this silly thing. All right. And it's, it's fogging my glasses as I do this. So we're going to take this off. All right. Done. Now I can sip. So one thing we did find out today, because we're all going to have to find this out eventually. Masks and glasses don't work. Figure that out, Governor Newsom, okay? Can you? Donald Trump, whoever. Masks and glasses. All right. Number 63 by Gaith, 1749 to 1832. The intelligent man finds almost everything ridiculous. The sensible man Hardly anything. I like that one a lot. That one has an asterisk next to it, which means I read it and loved it and saved it for myself at some point. Number 64 by Unknown. The difference between genius and stupidity is that genius has its limits. That one's great. And it's very true. 65. Another asterisk by Paul Fix. The only reason some people get lost in thought is because it's unfamiliar territory. I really love that one. I really love that one. Uh, by Jean Giraudoux. Another asterisk. Only the mediocre are at their best. I friggin' love that one. It's true. It's true. Only the mediocre are always at their best. Never be at your best. Always be striving. Number 67. S.I. Hayakawa. I'm going to speak my mind because I have nothing to lose. Good, classic, nothing, nothing witty about it per se, but smart. Samuel Johnson, 1709 to 1784. Number 68. I live in the crowd of jollity, not so much to enjoy company as to shun myself. Number 69. Another asterisk. Another Rob favorite from the past. Lawrence Stern, 1713 to 1768. For every ten jokes, thou hast got an hundred enemies. Mm, man. Hopefully you make as many friends as you do enemies when you tell jokes. But uh, it's interesting. Aristotle, number 70. Wit is educated insolence. Another asterisk by the great Oscar Wilde, who, by all accounts, was one of the most witty folks to put pen to paper, ink to typewriter, etc., etc. There's another asterisk. Number 71. Seriousness is the only refuge of the shallow. In other words, laugh! Laugh! Make some humor out of it! Oh, uh, great. 72, 72, the last one of the day, by Mary Pettibone Poole. He who laughs, lasts. So let's get this going, guys. <laughs> all right. Let's all smile today and have a nice Saturday.